Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to Rose of Venus Tarot. It's Lacey. Thank you so much for clicking on to my video. If you're new here, welcome. I hope you get real comfortable. If you're returning, hey, welcome back. It's real nice to see you again. And thank you to all of those who like, comment, and subscribe. It's really been helping me grow, and I 1,000% appreciate you guys. And if you want a personal reading with me or to join my members only, only for exclusive love readings and all of that, <laughs> it'll be in the description box below. I'm laughing because I would have normally edited and then redid it, but I'm like, I'm not going to. <laughs> Let's get into the reading. This is going to be a general collective energy reading. So please take what resonates and leave the rest behind. Divine, please guide me and protect me as I dive into this collective energy. Please give me clear and concise and precise and accurate messages. Let us know what we need to know right now. Spirits, you have permission to step forth and use me as your channel. Let me know what you want to convey to the collective. I do feel an energy of your haters becoming background noise. There's also energy of people who regret you because they judged you too soon. They misjudged you way too soon. Some people are wondering if you remember the mistreatment or if they did it underhandedly enough to come back into your life. Like, you know, they want to act like they know you. But some of you guys also got some people that you remember you were being cool with that you might find yourself running into because it's like almost like a lot of you guys are letting love back in. It's like, huh, it's, it's the energy. I don't know how to explain here, but you know, and and I'm, cause I'm also hearing that Nicki Minaj song too. I was listening to it on the way home. chun Li dropped the bends off, like, you know, <laughs> but she said, oh, uh, uh, now she want to be friends like I forgot. Like there's people who want to be friends with you now like you forgot. Some people are wondering if you remember the connection, like how they intended it to be, like or if you're going to let some stuff slide here. A lot of you guys are looking real happy. A lot of people are gassing you up right now probably to your face or behind scenes. Some of you guys look real good in the summertime. Some of you guys could have got a tan. It could have cleared up your skin. I'm a little bit browner. I don't know if you see this bright light. I love when it happens and then it, it clears your acne scarring, <laughs> you know, make you look exotic. Some of you guys are looking real exotic out here and looking real sun-kissed. And um, that's gotten people attention. And also someone could be crushing on you or you could be crushing on somebody. And the way this person is crushing on you is making other people want you to. It, it ignited someone's competitive spirit who may have at first tried to play you out. Some of you guys could be strange. Some people could have just tried to play you out, reject you for no other reason than because you're different. You know, nothing wrong with your appearance, your weight, your height, your intelligence is fine. Somebody just might have said, ew, you like the collective? Oh. And then, you know, it made them not, not want to pursue you. Some of you guys got, huh, because I'm, I'm seeing energy here. This is this could be energy from, huh, past lover here who mistreated you and they could be wanting you back because some of you guys either got more money or you're popping right now. I'm also hearing that Drake song because I'm up right now and you're stuck right now. Like, you know, <laughs> a, lot of, a lot of those songs coming into play, it's just, it's real feel good energy. And like, you know, like a lot of your haters are being quieted. You might want to check out that last reading because I don't feel 
a lot of them trying to step forth because you could have you could have did something. Maybe you kept you kept doing return the senders, return the senders, return the senders, and return the senders. Some of you guys could have done this, and you kept feeling like, okay, when is this person finally gonna go down? When are these people going to be off my back? It was causing little downfalls into their lives that was keeping them back as you were racing forward. Some of you guys got to take a look at yourself, your old bank account or your old photos from like five years ago and realize how far you've come. Some of you guys might also want to take a look at your old friends from like 10 years ago, five years ago, and where they're at compared to where you're at you're doing a lot better, even if it looks like they might be doing better. With some of them, they don't even look like they're doing better. Some of them may have come across you, some people from your past, and that's where you feel the silence coming in from. Because before you could have felt some sort of resentment towards you, some judging you. Now they're judging themselves for like, I don't know, it's energy of... People might have felt like you were immature for just being you, expressing yourself. Some of you guys are artists, creatives, a spiritualists. A lot of them, we get thrown all in the same bag and like mistreated the same way. Like, you know, <laughs> misplaced, misunderstood, like that pink song, you know, uh, perfect. And then <laughs> now, it's like, huh, these people who were trying to be so normal feel like they wasted their lives and they could have, they did everything that everybody else did. These people feel like they just, you know, they wore the same things everybody else wore. They kept what was safe and they thought about what people would think and didn't get a chance to express themselves as much as you did in life. They're feeling left behind and... I don't know. They just lack that that inner glow, that inner glow you get from, you know, loving your inner child. I think I said that yesterday. I feel like I want to, I don't know if I want to go for the What's the Tea Tarot or the Martian deck. I'm going to go for the Martian deck this time. Ooh, all these decks. I haven't used the Martian deck in a long time. All these freaking decks. At least they're all in order. I need a desk. These decks. Oh, of course, the first one will be the, the nudie card. Spirit, please tell me more. Spirit, please tell me more. Mystery, and uh, we got Ibbins, mystery, reading between the lines, intuition. A lot of you guys could be having heavy intuition right now because we got the Ebbins or the Ebbins, however you pronounce that. So a lot of you guys, your intuition has strengthened. I feel like your intuition has strengthened socially too. So now you're been better able to navigate, you know, who is for you, who isn't for you. Yeah, we got the Syrians, artistic integrity, honesty. A lot of you guys are able to get away with a lot more just because you are a creative person. Like if you're a musician, a singer, um, I can see you, you might post more sexy pictures than some of your friends do. And, you know, so at first they could have tried to judge you for it. But then, like, I don't know. Some of you guys get away with being weirder or more explicit or something due to you being an artist and it being under the notion of creative expression, or at least somebody feels that way about you. Like, you know, like somebody wants other people to join in on the talking down about you. Some of you guys are also not necessarily artists, but maybe you're into fitness or something. So you might show off your body, you might show off your abs, you do something that they feel like they couldn't get away with, aka, but it's the, here's the thing, you get talked about, but you, you keep going on about your life anyway. This person is afraid to be talked about. 
that's what they mean by they couldn't get away with doing that because they they could, but they just couldn't handle the same fallout that it would cause, you know, like that you would cause. Like <laughs> a lot of you guys stay staring things up. You're so different. And a lot of people love to watch you, your page, see what you're going to post next. There's a lot of people who might be crushing on you right now. Um, Andromedians, Autonomy, Free Will, Manifestation. Yeah, okay, we got Andromedians. Uh, Andromeda. <laughs> That's somebody, we, oh my goodness. Get me, miss me with these pronunciation. Autonomy, Free Will, Manifestation. They have free will too. They just don't use it. Some people are shocked that you actually use your free will and your autonomy, and a lot of you guys are here to help others to do the same too. Like it's their body. I'm here, my body, my mind, my soul. Like, you know, this life is for you to live. You're not letting anybody else tell you how to live your life. Spirit, please tell me more. The Galactic Federation meetings community. I feel like some of you guys might be feeling more at home in your community. Uh, something about your community wanting to help you, uphold you, or you might you might have had to move from one community to another. Some people where you were born at, your old neighborhood, your old school might not have liked you as much as your college does. Your high school might not have liked you as much as your college does. Your old neighborhood might not have loved you as much as your new neighborhood has. So you could have had to, the Galactic Federation, you, you could have had to find people of your tribe. You're meeting your soul tribe. They're coming together now. Um, this new community. There's something about you being upheld here, being comfortable here. You're fitting in where you are at now. Use a little bit of the What's the Tea Tarot since it's calling on me. And I'm also going to pull some from the Love Deck because that Love Deck is definitely giving me energy right now. Spirit, tell me more. What you? What's the tea? What do you want to convey to the collective spirits? Bad reputation. Okay, somebody here could have tried to smudge your reputation with the reading between the lines. And somebody read between the lines and realized that this person was jealous of you. Or, you know, this person, they could have been talking about you and it made other people look you up. And people, this person could have told people that you were crazy, you were insane, like you, like you just pop off for no reason. And then this person is reading between the lines of, okay, this person is jealous of the collective. They're jealous of what this person got going on here. Hmm. Spirit, please tell me more. Stalker, stalking, watching, obsessed. Okay, yeah, some of you guys got people who are stalking, stalkers, stalkies, <laughs> watching and obsessed. These people keep clicking on your following, seeing who you're following online for some of you guys who that resonates with. If it's Instagram, I'm seeing somebody specifically click your following on Instagram. Somebody could have also seen their partner like your picture on Instagram and it could have came up on their feed. Some people are impressed by your connections and the people you know. Some of you guys got like a celebrity that might be watching you or into you. They might have saw you on TikTok if you had used some of their songs or did some dance to their song or something. You know, Spirit, please tell me more. Somebody kind of wants to change your success if you are getting success. Some of you guys got a large following on TikTok. 
and it could be due to fashion it could be due to dancing or that could be a future reference that might be coming take what resonates i know not all of you have a TikTok. i have one i barely updated i'm mainly on youtube and no other uh, uh sites i have an instagram too in the bio i still barely update that <laughs> Spirit, please tell me more. I don't have a Facebook at all. Carless, no car, repo, car issues. Somebody could be having car issues here. There could be something, hmm, I don't know. Somebody could be watching you to see if you have a car. Some of you guys could live in like a metropolitan area. You don't really need a car. Somebody could be judging that about you. The, their biggest pride is that they have a car. You know, Spirit, please tell me more. Spirit, please tell me more. Fake smile. Somebody might want to try to come up to you with a fake smile and ask you different questions about your life. You're going to know exactly what this person talks about and because it's going to feel, their energy is going to feel in genuine. They're gonna be like, hey, boo, how you been? Hey, so you still work at Foot Locker? Or like, what happened? What happened between you and Scott? Is John okay? Like, how, how's your kid? How's your kid? Like, are they okay? Like, you know, it's going to be weird, <laughs> like the way they come at you. And it's like, why are you asking me all these personal questions when you and this person not even that close? And that's another thing too. They feel like a fake smile is going to get them in to win over information about you when that's not going to be the case here. You're going to, a lot of you guys just shrug and say, you know, it's personal. But you have a nice day. I actually got to get going. I can see this happening. This person, hey, hey, whoa, what, blah, blah, blah. With that intuition here, that, yeah, that read between the lines, the mysteries, you're not allowing yourself to get caught up in these fake smiles or even allowing anybody to question you like a child. Somebody might be offended that you're not allowing them to question you like a child. Somebody might be trying to prepare you for further questioning by asking you simple questions. You can say, oh, I'm about to go to the store. Well, what are you going to the store for? You know, like they want to prepare you for further questioning, see if you're going to answer their questions here. <laughs> Some of you guys might answer them back real sarcastically, like why? Why are you asking me that? <laughs> hey, are you trying to get me jumped? Dust it off. Dust it off. Yeah, I'm seeing you guys dusting it off and dusting the past off too. A lot of you guys, people from your past are disappointed because you're act, you, you're not just acting like you don't know them. You really don't know them. You don't remember them. You got new people here around you. A lot of you guys, these people felt like they outgrew you now is that now they want to downgrow and have fun with you and whatnot but a lot of you guys have completely outgrown them it's like the opposite you're on two different playing fields now it's like first they wanted to act like they outgrew you really you outgrew them <laughs> and now it's you know you dusted them off you dusted it off you're out here living your life, you know? Okay, yes. Got the love deck. Let's see what this love deck wanted to say. Spirit, please tell me more. Spirit, please tell me more. Your perfection, your beauty amazes me. I'm not sure how I attracted in someone like you, but I'm forever grateful. Somebody, um, I don't know, this could be, yeah, somebody who, who's around you. Maybe you did give somebody a chance. They're really amazed by your beauty. I'm seeing somebody feel a little bit like struck. They're in awe. They're lost for words. Like some of you guys are surprised that you could have this effect on people, but you worked a lot on yourself. You look, you look damn good. Yes. <laughs> Spirit, please tell me more. Spirit, please. Okay. 
will you listen? There's so many things I want to say to you, but will you hear me all the way out? Will you believe me? Okay, yes. Yeah, somebody wants to, wants to talk to you. They don't want to be too long-winded and they, they feel like you're going to reject them because they kind of rejected you. This person definitely regrets being distant or cold towards you or trying to, I don't know, act like they didn't want a friendship with you. Some of you guys, they're like, I'm just... I'm just trying to smash and leave them alone. I'm not trying to be on no, like, I don't know. They were weird with it too, thinking like it was going to impress their friends or impress, you know, masculines the way they were talking about you with the bad reputation here. And then beauty is coming out under that. So guys that they try to talk down about you, it was like, you crazy. I would have just, you know, like I would have did anything to be around the collective. The collective looked good. If that's all she wanted, she could call me anytime. Like you're some of them, you know, <laughs> they're calling them like all types of uh, weirdos for not wanting to, I don't know, interact with you. Somebody could have tried to reject you because they thought other people would reject you. Somebody could have tried to use a third party to make you jealous. Somebody could have tried to neg you about your age or your looks or something here. They could have said something to like, I don't know, passive aggressive about your age, your looks or something here, you know, and they're kind of regretting that, you know, because they realize that you're you're smart. You're intelligent. Spirit, please tell me more. Spirit, please tell me more. Still listening. I listen to the music you shared with me. It helps me to connect with you, although we are apart. Yeah, okay. Somebody could have tried to play out your musical taste or like, I don't know, put down your musical preferences or whatnot uh, just, just for no reason. This person also thinks about you when certain songs play. They they listen to certain songs and they think about you. This person, even when they're listening to their music, there are certain aspects. Your name might pop up in songs. Some of you guys might name be Ashley or like, I don't know, Delilah. Hey there, Delilah. Like, you know, <laughs> maybe even all the songs from that DMX song. Keisha, what did she say? Dang, I don't even remember that. <laughs> the only thing I remember there was Keisha. You know, <laughs> what they really want from just let me know. Like, <laughs> I'm trying to think of all the songs that they say in names. I'm also hearing that song by, um, what was it Cry Baby dropped down to do your do the Cry Baby? You know he named a whole lot of songs. Your 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 name might be in that song, and they could have thought about you. Your name might be popping up on somewhere like furniture. I don't know. I'm also seeing Lauren Lauren here. That's a name that definitely popped up. I usually use letter tiles and stuff like on my love readings a lot more. But these, I, I do the letter tiles at the end there. This, these, I do the um, angel numbers because that's the pattern and I enjoy it. Playing games. This is a game to me. The way I'm acting, responding, or posting is posting it is to get your attention. Yeah, somebody could be still trying to play games with you and trying to get your attention here. Somebody could have, I don't know, like I'm seeing that somebody could have tried to dis do something crude to you to try to get your attention or to try to play you out or play with your emotions, play with your feelings here. Now somebody really wants your attention because they see a lot of other people want you. Spare, please. There we go. No one compares to you. No matter how many people I've met and experiences I have, there's no one who compares to you? See, that that strangeness, that weirdness is starting to pay off because now the same people that wanted to put you down because of it are now realizing there's not a lot of people like you. They could have tried to, there, there's a lot of imitation used, but there's not a lot of people who are truly like you. I think I'm going to end it right there and then get some 
Angel numbers and be out. Hey, we got this. Spirit, please tell me more. Spirit, please tell me more. We got seven, one, nine. I think we pulled that number before. Seven, one, nine. We definitely pulled that number before. That could be of significance here. Seven, one, nine. And it's the nine of hearts, so definitely a completion towards love. The ace of diamonds here, you're going to be winning some sort of material, um, you know, gift or something. That or you're really good at dressing, you know, material-wise. Like diamonds are, you know, also with earth signs, so they can be earth signs here. The clubs, I believe, are fire signs. Yeah, they're definitely fire signs. The spades are um, air signs. So we got fire, earth, and water signs. The hearts are water signs, of course. <laughs> Nine of hearts. You completed some sort of cycle in your love life. A lot of you guys have healed something in your heart. And it's almost like you guys could be ready to get back out there and love again. You might be ready to date again with this nine of hearts that keep popping out here. Um, let's look up the meaning. Okay, it says angel number 719 is a message to maintain positive thoughts and optimistic expectations to do with your life purpose and soul mission. Your light working talents, skills, and abilities are much needed by the world at this time. And only you are qualified to fulfill your soul purpose and destiny. Give any fears or anxieties to the angels for healing and transmutation and get on with your life mission with confidence and enthusiasm. Give all your fears away, walk in confidence. Angel number 719 is a message to listen to your intuition and the guidance from the angels in regards to the next steps on your spiritual path. Trust that you are in the right place at the right time and your soul is urging you to shine your light in order to illuminate the way for others to follow. Told you, you're supposed to illuminate the way for others to follow. Live your life as a positive example to others. Angel number 719 can also indicate that a major phase or cycle situation or circumstance in your life has come to completion and this has brought closure to projects associations and or ways of being and doing if you wish to be rid of something in your life thank it for for its service to you bless it with love then release it and let it go let go of life let go of the life you don't want and begin to live the life that you do want. That's what I mean. Release that old life. Remind yourself, you know, periodically when you're in trauma too, like I'm no longer there. Like hug yourself. I'm no longer there anymore. I'm not there anymore. I don't have to deal with those people anymore unless you're unfortunate to still be dealing with these people. We're praying you out of it. I'm trying to rip you out of every bad situation that you are in. And I'm praying that you, you, you come to a positive conclusion through whatever drama you may be going through at this time period, you know? But that's it. Oh, yeah, I wanted to look up the area code. We got to look up the area code. I didn't give the shout out to whatever. Seven one nine area codes oh yes colorado okay yeah shout out to colorado we did pull this before because then i said colorado and it's colorado springs uh Flebo, florence leadville lehman trinidad la janta and most of Southern, Southern Colorado, sorry, you know. <laughs> okay, yeah, that's why I didn't do it. 
All right. Thank you guys so much. I hope you have a good day, night, evening, whenever you're catching this reading. Hopefully I will see you next time.